Hello Peoples, today I'm going to be doing a ranking of all the DCEU movies with Birds of Prey while I wear all Marvel merch. That was not intentional, I just kind of re- just kind of figured that out before I hit record on this um video. But let's just get into number 8. Obviously, Suicide Squad. <clears throat> I, I re-watched this before I saw Birds of Prey. And I will say I thoroughly enjoyed the first 20 minutes until the movie completely crapped itself for like the last two hours. Um, the last two hours barely has a plot. They're just going from point A to point B with useless... With It just gets so repetitive with a helicopter crash happens. We need to go save that person. More helicopters crashing. Um... We need to, it's just going from point A to point A to point B with some bad, awful attempts at character development, which never ends up working. But Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn was very good, and obviously she got, just got her own movie. And Will Smith as Jed, Deadshot was fine. I, I wouldn't have mind to see him again, but of course Idris Elba is taking over for that. So, <laughs> goodbye. Um... Coming in at number seven is Justice League. This movie would be okay if it wasn't set up with such a dark tone, and then all of a sudden, you if it was this movie, it was DC's setup was just a very very dark tone, and that's what DC is compared to Marvel. It's a little bit darker and a little bit more mature, but this movie just goes Marvel with DC characters and. Obviously, Joss Whedon directed this, and obviously Warner Brothers was just desperate to make an expanded universe, but obviously I don't feel like they're going in that direction anymore, thank God. But Justice League with the villain, oh my God, what's his face? What's his name, honestly? I cannot remember the villain's name of this movie. Um... The CGI mess looking guy. Um he he was god awful as a villain. Um, um it and just Miller as the Flash was okay. Um and or probably it's just a lot of this, especially Cyborg, is never gonna go anywhere. I are we ever gonna get a movie? He was just an exposition machine. And he's literally machine, which is sad. Machine discrimination. But uh, the tone of this movie was just so off-putting. And if you take it as a standalone movie, I guess it's fine. But if you connect it to the other DCEU movies, it just feels so out of place. Coming in at number six is Batman v Superman. This is a movie that I've come to learn that it's okay and everyone, and of course, everyone's like, Batman Superman, Batman v Superman sucks at the beginning. And I will admit, I was a little bit on that train, but now since I've rewatched it a couple of times and it's been aging on me, and I've watched the extended Ultimate Edition, the movie has improved. It really has. Um, It's obviously still not perfect. If, obviously, we still have to save, Mar save Martha. Obviously, we still have Doomsday at the end, which is just useless. And of course, we had the trailer spoon feed us everything besides like the last 15 minutes and but the action is great I feel like Bat Ben Affleck shined as Batman in this movie and and I never found it boring as some people said people people did very very much say that it was really boring and I, I don't say it's boring at all I, I really strongly disagree with that I'm I was always interested was I always entertained no um, but I'm saying, I thought everything was fine up until that third act with Doomsday. And there's some stupid stuff sprinkled into the movie. And that's why it's where it's at right now. Coming in at number five is another, I just don't, this one I don't get. Aquaman. It's, people are like, oh, it's campy, it's fun. I, I just couldn't take it seriously half the time. Um, of course, it's masterfully directed by James Wan with some fantastic CG and it and I have it on 4K and it really does look impressive. And um 
Jason Momoa nailed it as Aquaman. It's just the the villains were there were too many of them. There was um the laser eye guy, I can't remember, Black Manta. There is King Orm and there is one more person. Can't remember that last person. I think there was one more person or that might be a by eight. Be it, I mean um that might be it, but this movie was I, I just can't take it seriously. Of course it's better than Batman v Superman, which I think is okay. And I do say this movie's fine as well. I just don't particularly enjoy it. Some parts make me smile. There's a couple good laughs. And I was never bored. It's just... And the third act with everything's happening, I was, I, I was in it. And I was like, okay, this is really cool. But the build-up wasn't that great. And I just... Didn't really enjoy Aquaman too much. It, it's fine. Coming in at number four is Birds of Prey, which is the surprisingly really fun movie with um great character work, surprisingly, for Harley Quinn. And I'm going to say this a couple months ago. I would have never thought I would say that walking out of this movie. Um, Like I said, I, I, didn't, I never said this, but I expected this movie to just to be eh. And I got good. I got like it was a solid movie with really great action. But my one problem, that cop character that they made fun of throughout the whole movie, I found her extremely annoying. And she had this shirt on for a whole, a whole entire half of the movie, which was just so distracting. And I just got more annoyed every single time I saw it. And that's my biggest problem with the movie, which is kind of weird. I never thought I'd say that. Um, the copies of Deadpool are a little on the nose, especially with... Um, the artwork at the beginning with like the little stick figures. I don't know if it's stick fi figures, but you know what I mean. Um, the way that Harley Quinn kind of told the story kind of was a little too much like Deadpool. And I felt like it was a little too much like Deadpool at some times, but it was really fun. It had great character work for Harley, it had some amazing action sequences, surprisingly funny. And yeah, it's just sometimes the copy copycats of Deadpool were a little too obvious. And um, that cop character was annoying. And yeah, coming in at number three is Man of Steel. Really enjoy this one as well. The third act kind of lose me, loses me a little bit now. But every, the build up from the third act up, well, I thought was just fantastic. The third act is meh. Yeah, it's just the fir first two acts, which were fantastic, just was everything I wanted from this Henry Cavill darker Superman movie. And yeah, I, that's really not more to say. Coming in at number two is Shazam. Um, this is basically m the same exact opinion of Man of Steel. I think it falls apart at the third act a little bit, but I just think this one had a stronger first two acts and I don't think it fell apart nearly as bad as Man of Steel. I'm not saying that Man of Steel fell apart. It's just Man of Steel kind of fell apart. And this one sort of fell apart. <laughs> if if you get what I'm trying to say. It's basically it's just instead of dark, this one's super heartfelt. And with characters I really care about at the end of the day. And it was just a really fun movie and hilarious. And yeah. And coming in at number one is what I would, would assume is everyone's number one, and that is Wonder Woman. And yes, this is almost the same exact thing as um, Shazam and um, Man of Steel. Yes, falls apart in the third act a little bit, but it's the same case with the other one. I feel like this one has a stronger first two acts with characters I care about, and and but the third act doesn't just mm, kind of a little bit falls apart. But it didn't lose me like the way um, Man of Steel kind of lost me a little bit. Shazam lost me sort of. But this movie, the third act, it was eh. But it didn't lose me as hard as the other two. And I'm not saying that those other two are bad. And I still think, and I still love Man of Steel and Shazam. It's just Wonder Woman. Yes, it fell apart a little bit. Just slightly less than the other ones. And I thought the first um, two acts were just... Perfect. <laughs> perfect. That's it. Just perfect. It's 
the and I want to praise something I don't think that it didn't get too much attention of and that's the production design I I watched it again a couple of months ago and I was like the production design is really good <laughs> and the way it captures on World War two or well World War one I, I believe or World War two I, I don't remember I stupid um but um yes Wonder Woman is just fantastic first two acts with an okay third act but it's just fantastic and I'm just kind of rambling at this point and if you guys well you guys can't comment but if you guys are thinking to yourself right now you didn't like Man of Steel and Shazam I liked I really love both of those movie movies I think Birds of Prey is good Aquaman's eh. Batman vs. Superman's eh. Justice League is uh and Suicide Squad just mm. and yeah and that's my ranking of the DCEU I, I didn't include Joker in here of course because that's not a DCEU movie but if it were on here it would probably be number one um and yeah I'm just really hoping to get what I want is a solid DCE DCEU movie we haven't gotten that yet I, I don't believe we haven't had at least a consistently at least good all throughout um the whole like second um first second and third act when I say it's solid that doesn't mean it has to be the best out of all of these when I'm saying well I want a solid DCEU movie that means I want a consistent at least consistently good first second and third act and I felt like all of these movies aren't too consistent um like i even number one wonder woman um first two acts amazing third act yeah 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 and another example man of steel first two acts pretty good last act yeah and you you get the gist and if i, I and i would say the closest to solid dceu movie that we got was birds of prey it's just I feel like the first act lingers a little bit. And so it, it was like, yeah, the first act was eh. Second two acts were good. So I hope you get what I'm trying to say. I'm just hoping we're getting 1984 next. I'm hoping that we have at, at least a good second, third. I mean, first, second, and third act. Or even a gr even great second, um, first and second act. And a good third act. Um. That's what I hope out of, D out of the future of the DCEU, and I hope you guys agree. And that's my ranking of all the DCEU movies, and like, share, subscribe. Uh, getting ahead of myself. Um, so like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.